How's it going, everybody? Take a look at what we got today. We got the red carpet going in. Had to let this sit out for a little bit to get the wrinkles out. But this is the first little section we've got being installed. We've got more carpet on the way. Thought I had enough, but it turns out I didn't. But this is cool because this is just enough where while I'm waiting for the rest of the carpet to get into the to the front and underneath, I could still install the uh, captain chairs here. So anyway, let's talk about what we're going to be using to glue this together. I've seen some exterior grade contact cement, but this is pretty much the same stuff that you would have used in kindergarten. And the reason you use this contact cement is because on the marine grade carpet, it's got a rubber backing on it. And obviously with this type of contact cement, this is pretty much what you're going to be using. They do, like I said, have an exterior uh, brand of this stuff. And this one is both interior and exterior. And I've used it on another boat before. And uh, I went back and looked at it about a year later after it had heavy contact with water. It basically, um, the carpet, or sorry, the boat cover didn't do its job very well. So this ended up kind of getting soaked throughout the whole year and I went under there and tried to tug on it a little bit to see how it was holding down even after uh, being submerged in water uh, for a long time and it, it's it's good. So yeah, I'm gonna use this again only because like I said, I've had good results on it and I know uh, it'll last at least a year or two um, for sure. So I'm, I'm happy with it. It says it's gonna be ready to, to use in 20 minutes. So I've uh, got to work pretty quick. All right, so anyway, what we're gonna do as you can see here, I cut a section that butts all the way up to the chair here and goes right up to that crease. Now, in the past, what I have done is I tried to MacGyver this thing where I got enough carpet to go all the way in there as humanly possible. Same thing on this side. You get enough carpet to go all the way in there. And then I also make enough where there's a sliver and try to do this all in one shot. You can do that, but... It never worked for me the first time I tried to do it because the when you get up to the front, you end up being uh, short a little bit maybe here or there with, with the carpet as you're trying to bend around the edges. So I said, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about trying to do that. So instead, we'll, we'll create a basically a nice clean cut here, same here. And you won't be able to see any kind of edges for sure on these sides just because that's where your feet are. This side here, I'll, I'll pay special attention to. And if needed, if I can't get it perfectly right, I'll show you what I did on my other boat where you can actually cover up the seam if you're really uh, that upset about the way the seams go together. And you shouldn't be able to. I'm going to take special attention here to this, this side and try to butt up these seams as good as possible so you won't even be able to really see it. And then obviously, I'm going to get more carpet uh, to do this forward piece, the bow area. And we'll talk about that when that carpet comes in. But for now, what we're going to do is basically bond the carpet down to the back. So then we can move on to the getting these captain chairs. Install one's going to go there and then passenger seat over here. And we'll get that all worked up and we'll be that much closer. I uh, I have been thinking about it too, by the way. This is eight and a, eight and a half feet carpet. It's called, uh, I think it's called Claret, the carpet color. It's a red. Uh, I am going to get a little sliver to add probably to cover up these rivets where the upper and lower section of the boats were connected. I will probably get a sliver. So if you if you are wondering if I am going to be completing that piece as well, I would that would be correct. And then I'll probably also um, get a piece in there. So just enough where the, the human eye can see in there. Uh, I'll cover that up. And uh, I may leave that little piece of Kevlar down there just as a conversation piece. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, this is what we're going to be up against right now. The main thing is you can see how we're a little uneven right there. We want to make sure we butt this carpet all the way up as close as possible to that edge so we don't have any kind of weird gaps there. So I'll go ahead and do that. What I'm also going to do since this has been laying out is I'll go ahead and uh, roll it up so I can essentially be able to make contact and then I'll slowly unroll it as we go back this way. So that'll be my technique to get these uh, brushes in, in the rubber cement underneath here. It does say you have about 15 to 20 minutes to get everything uh, secured and finalized. So you gotta work pretty quick in some ways, but I'm gonna do it um, 
in line like this and then like I said I'll roll the, the carpet back down. The other thing I, I need to mention, if you are trying to use this stuff indoors, I want to say this rubber cement is more smelly than polyester resin. So in some ways you probably should be using a mask when you're using this stuff. It, and definitely if you're using it indoors, make sure you're not around any kind of flames. This stuff is like super dangerous and super flammable. So anyway, take, take some precautions. Be careful when you're using this stuff. And let's go ahead and start getting this uh, rolled up and uh, we'll get prepped up ready to, to uh, bond this permanently. Okay, got the lid off, got our brush. This um, rubber cement, this contact cement, has been probably sitting for just about a year. Uh, now actually more like, this is, honestly this is two years. So this stuff is, is still pretty good even two years later. I got another can thinking I was gonna need another one like this had dried in here, but definitely not the case. All right, so anyway, stuff is pretty smelly. Make sure your area where you're gonna be laying the rubber cement down, make sure it's clean. And you'll see that area right there where there's carpet. I'm going to be super careful not to get any rubber cement on it because this stuff is a pain in the butt to get off. So anyway, I'll take some precaution. We'll get um, putting this on the uh, Kevlar polyester, or sorry, uh, Kevlar epoxy uh, coating here. And we'll go ahead and start laying this carpet down. Okay, so you can see I cut out a little bitty square for the, where the ski locker's gonna go. Did that on purpose so I don't create too much excess sag in this area. And what I did do is I ran about a foot of the rubber cement, which allowed me to butt it up to that uh, back bench and kind of rolled it up. If you notice, I probably have a little bit more carpet on that side versus this side. Don't get hung up on that. Really don't, because we're gonna run another strip and butt up against that one. Same thing on this side. So why does it really matter? So anyway, try to get it even as much as you can, but really, the place that you can't really fix, if you had to, is the part that butts up against the two different seams right there. So that part you can't skimp on. You gotta have to do a good job there. But uh, in terms of the sides, we'll add carpet there. So you can see we've got some uh, folds, but not necessarily where the uh, glue was put. I only ran about a foot of glue there, so did that on purpose. I'm going to let that dry, so then um, when I'm pulling and doing all the rest of the stuff up here, I don't have to worry about this seam slipping and losing that because that would that would be real bad. Uh, I don't. I can't imagine trying to pull this whole entire 71 inch piece. And trying to refix all that area so I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry and then what we'll do is we'll come back and uh, do the rest of it over here and pull all the way down and then we'll give it you know maybe about an hour or so it says, it says about 15 20 minutes to cure and then we'll start working on putting these uh, chairs in place here so you'll like that pretty cool all right so anyway I'll go ahead and let this dry and we'll finish up okay so we got the rear side dry and what I did is went ahead and applied the rest of the contact cement all around the perimeter put a little bit down in that area and just wanted to make sure I had plenty of it in place here because once we lay this down I'm going to be rolling it and I'm going to show you what method I'm going to be using to roll it with I have I've got one of these guys it's actually pretty heavy it's what I use for rolling sound uh, sound deadener, but it, it also looks like it's going to be good too to roll this carpet. So we'll give it a try. So anyway, that is that. We got it all applied. I'm going to go ahead and roll this back down. I say roll. It looks more like a big uh, bunched up piece of carpet. But anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, put it back down in place and where that roller will come into play kind of around where these little pedestals go for the chairs all right so anyway without further ado let's go ahead and get this in place and get those captain chairs ready to install what do you think all right since it's all over the place along the edges here i didn't want to just kind of throw everything in in place so as you can see here i kind of made like a triangle so we can kind of work our way 
um, down and then we'll, we'll start applying the carpet along the sides, kind of like in a, a rolling fashion here. Let's take a look. All right, so this is where cutting out part of the, um, where the ski locker comes into play, because otherwise it's super hard to kind of get in to some of these areas and smooth it out. But really it's just as simple as taking your hand as such and making sure everything is as flat as possible. Now once you start getting to these bigger uh, rolls here, obviously, we're gonna need to um, push the carpet back and um, go from there. All right. And looking good so far. All right, let's see if we can move this back a little bit. Roll up along the edges here. Make sure this seam is pretty tight, which it looks like it is. Everything is sitting in place real good. All right, so pretty easy so far. You got the gist of it. Carpet's really not that hard to work with. It's just what worries me most is this thing takes 15 to 20 minutes to dry. So what happens if you get like this huge like roll that appears here, you didn't really expect it, then what are you gonna do? So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish rolling this back all the way down and we'll see how it looks. All right, that side is pretty good. Just gotta roll up that little piece over there. But this side I wanna make sure is even as well. So let's go ahead and very carefully, just pulled that little roll out. Kind of work, work our way down here. I know what you're saying, I'm like, yeah, can't believe you're doing this whole thing with one hand. I know, fun times, right? Okay, so there's the pedestal right here. This is probably where the roller is going to come into play because it looks like, I mean, if it doesn't make contact all around this thing, I'm not too worried about it. But I am trying to allow a little bit of extra room. Uh, so I'm not trying to pull the carpet all the way forward. I wanted to make sure if it can make contact here, it would just be a little bit cleaner. But with it still wet as it is, I don't think it's I don't think it's got enough ability to grab on it. It will it'll probably be able to grab a little bit over here because this this piece is cut. But I don't really see anything moving too much, so we'll keep an eye out on these as we move forward here. All right, let's work these little rolls out over here. There's our next one. Along the sides looks pretty good. All right. And I'll need to fold it underneath that little trim piece here. And if needed, I'll probably slice a little cut into there if, if needed, but it doesn't look like so. All right. Looks pretty good, right? What do you think? Like I said, we're going to add that extra piece up here to make it a little bit cleaner look. And then I'll, I'll take care of that. I'm not going to slice that. I'll probably just fold it underneath. All right. Pretty good so far, huh? Got a little roll right here. Let's do the same, let's give the same, same treatment on this side. All right, see how I'm kind of using my edge of my wrist here to kind of fold it into place. Hopefully it works out, I don't know. Okay, and sides are looking good. All right, let's see if we'll roll this up. All right, and don't forget, you wanna make sure you get this inside piece as good as possible, because if not, you won't be able to fix that later. All right, so, 
what do we have left? Well, we've got everything laid down except for this little uh, bunch up piece here in the middle. So what we'll likely have to do is do something like this because this is kind of an important section here, right? Remember, we don't want to have any kind of folds or abnormalities in that area because that's where we have to bond the two pieces together. So essentially what we're going to do is kind of work this roll all the way to the edge. And let's see if I can successfully do that here. Okay, pretty easy. I just had to pull this corner back as such and then kind of redo it again. All right. And last but not least, should be good. Make sure this is nice and tight in that corner here. And we'll fold, um, make sure this little fold section is all the way up. Okay. So for the most part, it's laid down pretty good. Contact cement, super smelly. Made sure our seam along the edge over there still in place, still looking good. Now, as I mentioned earlier, like I said, I wanted to make sure these pedestal pieces kind of had the carpet adhered up to them, but I'm going to have to wait until this kicks off a little bit more. And then I'll make sure, take our little roller here like this, and see if we can get it to adhere down. Maybe, maybe so. Okay. Same thing over here. Nothing big, not, not, not a big deal if it doesn't. I'm not going to lose any sleep on it. All right. I'll fix that a little bit. Make that look a little bit better. Mess it up a little bit. All right. So what do you think? Installing carpet, pretty easy, right? The main thing is to kind of go around and make sure it looks pretty good. You don't have any uh, bunches up anywhere. But that's pretty much it. We'll call that the first part of the episode here. Like I said, we're gonna butt up some other carpet in another uh, episode where we go underneath there. We do the front section. We're also gonna work on along the edges. I think I haven't figured out exactly what we're going to do there, but hope you liked the episode. As always, hit that subscribe button as we get closer towards the finishing line with this boat and the rebuild, and um, hit that like button too if you thought it was a good video. So, as always, catch you up on the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.